Have you no sense of decency, sir? At long last, have you left no sense the of decency? The phrase, have you no decency, sir? is more than just a tagline that would go on to be the subject of homage by former ESPN announcers who have fashioned themselves the voice of left-wing politics. Many historians credit the phrase with so much more. This is a hermit history lesson for June 9th, produced in association with the umpteenth time. Listen in on June 9th, 1954, as U.S. Army Counsel Joseph Welch confronts Senator Joseph McCarthy over his tactics fighting communist subversion during the Cold War. But, but you have done enough. Have right. you no sense of decency, sir? At long last, have you left no sense of decency? I will not discuss it further. I will not ask Mr. Cohen any more witnesses. You, Mr. Chairman, may if you will, call the next witness. The cheering of the gallery here is the beginning of the end of Joseph McCarthy's political career. Unable to criminalize people who thought that the resources of the world should be shared by all, McCarthy was crushed by the have you no decency sir moment, and his political career hung on for one last fading moment, like a cockroach trying to crawl up the toilet bowl as you just flushed that son of a bitch down with yesterday's bean burrito. Joe McCarthy's fall from power proved to be a wake-up call for U.S. lawmakers. From the mid-1950s forward, Congress has taken every measure to rid the United States of America of the megalomaniacal tactics of the hate-mongering McCarthy and his followers from ever again infesting American domestic or foreign policy. To cite but three quick examples, 1964. When President LBJ attempted to escalate U.S. troop involvement in the Vietnam War in an effort to crush the quote-unquote evil specter of communism, cries of, have you no decency, sir, rose from across the nation, and Congress asserted their constitutional right to approve the deployment of troops. And U.S. involvement in what would have been almost certainly a quagmire was avoided. Historians estimate that some 58,000 U.S. troop deaths were avoided by the United States not engaging in the Vietnam War. 1993, the United States of America awakens to the idea that it is the only country in the industrialized world that does not offer health care to its citizens. When Wall Street Gordon Gecko freaks try to label socialized medicine as communism, the cries of, have you no decency, sir, arose, and the United States of America created a Canadian-style single-payer health care system. Scholars point out that some 18 to 22,000 people a year would have died simply because they did not have health care insurance. September 11th, 2001, just five minutes after the Twin Towers were attacked, Congress attempts to enact the Patriot Act which would effectively eliminate the word privacy from Webster's next edition. But once more, cries of, have you no decency, sir, arose, rang throughout the land, and the Patriot Act was defeated. And reason triumphed over fear. Had the USA committed troops to Vietnam, or failed to enact single-payer health care, or made the Patriot Act the law of the land, it would be the world asking us, have you no sense of decency, America? At long last, have you left no sense of decency? This has been a Hermit History lesson for June 9th, produced in association with the umpteenth times, all the news that's fit to fade.